Now we're going to hear from brother from St. Lucia, Mr. Colin Pamphil. Got it right. Pamphil. St. Lucia is a wonderful place. Which is the best country in the Caribbean? Now you see, you all gone back to this old thing again. <laughs> I knew I would have caught you. <laughs> I knew that. I caught you. I caught you all right. Because, you know, oh, Grenada is the best. Eh? Grenada got the best beach. Oh, Jamaica got the best beach. Oh, Barbados got the best beaches. Oh, you know, I understand that. I understand. But anyway, St. Lucia is really a beautiful place. It's called the Helen of the West. I lived in St. Lucia for some time. Found it to be a wonderful place. And so it's with, you know, great pleasure that I introduce the next speaker from St. Lucia, from the Helen of the West, Mr. Pamphy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, I was, I know you have heard so many speeches so far. I was hoping that there would be some sort of a, a song in between just to break the monotony. But however, I, I suppose that uh, you, are, you, are, you are pretty well um, uh, satisfied so far of what you have heard, and then you are willing to hear some more. Okay, um, I have been invited here by Brother Harry because I'm a member, and actually I'm the president of the St. Lucia American Christian Association. And Brother Harry and myself, we have been uh, working together trying to bring the different associations because we think that if we could bring the associations together then we'll be able to do far more than, than we are doing now. We'll be able to learn from each other and we'll be able, because all the associations are having the same aim, it would be a good thing so that we could share our views and cooperate in, in certain activities together. So that's the reason why I'm here. Okay, um, first I also have to com uh, commend him for the fact that he do observe Black History Month. I know there are some of us who when we hear Black History, we tend to feel somewhat, um, um, as feel as if we are being divisive. We don't like to hear the word black. It, this has been said to me so often that I think um, we have been brainwashed to somewhat, and I think as black people, we, know, we should learn to realize that black history is important. The reason for black history is because we have not been given our true history. Our history has been hidden from us, and therefore, as a result, we need to expose the true history of black people, which is the real rich history, and so that you won't have to have other people to read your history to you and then to make you feel that you are inferior, which is definitely not so. Okay, I have, for, for the sake of variety, uh, my presentation will be delivered in two parts. So at this time, one of my colleagues, which is um, Sister Eunice Hibbler, will give the first presentation. Good evening. It is my honor and privilege to introduce to you my country, my heritage, St. Lucia. I, I'm fired up, aren't you? Yes. I'm so fired up because I've learned so much more about the islands. And the gentleman over here, what's, what is your name? Terence. Terence Griffin. I tell you, if, if we were in the Caribbean and I heard he was going up for a political position, right on. <laughs> I mean, he got me fired up. I mean, he has me ready. You know? Okay, now, um, first I'd like to um, describe my outfit to you. What I'm wearing is the St. Lucia National outfit, costume, I say. And the headpiece is part of the costume. I couldn't get it the real way, but what happens is we you normally have two types of way that we do it. We carry a peak which represents that you single, and when you have two peaks, you're married. It's in the form of a mountain. And, um, <laughs> so you know, I, I decided to remain neutral. However, <laughs> I am married. 
Okay. St. Lucia is part of the Windward Islands, a group of the Lesser Antilles. St. Lucia is situated between Martinique and St. Vincent. And when the gentleman said that um, there is a link between the volcanoes, and it is so true because Martinique is 24 miles to the north of St. Lucia, and St. Vincent is 21 miles to the south of St. Lucia. St. Lucia has an, uh, an area of 238 square miles with a population of 140,000 people. St. Lucia is very mountainous, and one of the attributes to St. Lucia is what is called a walking volcano. St. Lucia is one of the only islands in the Caribbean where there is a walking volca volcano. You can actually walk in between the volcanoes and look at what's happening with, um, with it. Like you said, we have no definite history of who discovered the West Indies, I believe. And um, so we cannot say that St. Lucia was discovered by Christopher Columbus. However, it is stated in history that St. Lucia was discovered by him on December 13th, 1502. Right. <laughs> St. Lucia has a heavy French influence, and I've been asked many times, are you Haitian? But I'm proud of it. And um, out of the towns, most of our towns and villages, have, they have French names. Because St. Lucia exchanged hands 14 times between the French and the English. It was finally ceded to the British by the Treaty of Paris in 1814. In 1967, St. Lucia became an associate state with Britain. And in, on February 22nd, 1979, St. Lucian became an independent state. St. Lucia has been called many names, two of which I will mention, Santa Lucia and St. Lucia, which remained. The main revenue for the island is banana and tourism. St. Lucia has two commercial airports. So if you wish to come to St. Lucia, you can come directly into the north, which is called VG Airport, or you can come from the south, which is called Huronora Airport, and it takes an average of 45 minutes, I believe, to drive into the city, which is called Castries, and um, that airport is called Huronora. I have here my flag. Would you please? And my flag represents the land, the light, and the people. Thank you. For those who are interested in, in the business part of St. Lucia, I'd like to inform you that St. Lucia has one of the most largest ports, harbors, in the Caribbean. As a matter of fact, the harbor is situated on the western coast of the island. And it says that, give me one second, I lost it. It has a storing capacity on the wharves which provides for a maximum of 500 containers using the, long, the laneway system. However, by adopting the block storage method of about 1,000 about 1,000 containers can be stored. Which means that right now, for the majority of us West Indians, when you send your containers over to your island, the majority of times it has to go through St. Lucia first. And so for you business people, I'd like to inform you that we are doing very well, and the island is prospering under the leadership of John Compton. Thank you. Yeah, he says he is a St. Vincentian. He was born in St. Vincent, but somewhere he has St. Lucian lineage. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. 
So that comes back to what he's saying, yes. that we all Caribbean people are connected in some way or the other. Of course, first of all, we're connected from Africa. Now, you know, I don't have the talent of singing, so I've decided to read to you my national anthem. You would like me to sing it? <laughs> Maybe I'll make my first go at singing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sons and daughters of St. Lucia Love the land that gave us birth Land of beaches, hills and valleys Fairest isle of all the earth Wheresoever you may roam Love, oh love time when nations battled for this Helen of the West, gone the days when strife and discord dimmed her children's toil and rest. Dawns at last a brighter day, stretches out a glance God, her sons from war and harm. May our people live united, strong in soul and strong in arm. Justice, truth, and charity.